Yeah, it's what the stored newborn DNA is used for that's the topic of controversy. In California, the DNA may be purchased by researchers or provided to law enforcement without your knowledge or consent. And in the age of genetic genealogy, that's leading to lawsuits. Sorry, but yeah. Nearly every baby born in the U.S. gets a heel prick shortly after birth. <laughs> The newborn blood fills six spots on a special card used to test the baby for dozens of genetic disorders that, if treated early enough, could prevent severe disabilities, even death. The test itself is crucial and potentially life-saving, but it's what happens after that has some concern. The leftover blood spots become property of the state and may be purchased for approved outside research without your knowledge or consent. Now, the state stresses that research could lead to future life-saving tests and treatment, and they insist the blood spots are de-identified before they're given to researchers. But as the Golden State Killer case proved, DNA is inherently identifiable. And records obtained by CBS 13 reveal blood spots are used by law enforcement in California. We found at least five search warrants and four court orders for identified newborn blood spots before the Golden State Killer case, and investigators confirmed at least one cold case was more recently solved with the help of newborn blood spots. Similarly, a public records lawsuit alleges New Jersey police recently subpoenaed a nine-year-old's blood spot to link his father to a cold case rape, and an increasing number of lawsuits are threatening state stockpiles. Both Texas and Minnesota had to destroy millions of blood spots following past privacy-related lawsuits there. And Michigan health officials reportedly recently agreed to destroy more than 3 million blood spots following lawsuits by parents there. Michigan is one of the few states that does ask permission before using blood spots for research. California does not. And while parents here can request the state destroy blood spots after they've been stored, the state says it may not be able to comply. Now, over the years, we've surveyed parents, and the majority say they had no idea their child's DNA was being stored. The state's response has always been parents do get this pamphlet when they go home with their baby from the hospital, though there's not a lot of information in it, and it says nothing about law enforcement access to those child DNA samples.